I thought I'd record a really quick video because I was on LinkedIn yesterday and I'd posted a thing about the fact that for me, the intention on LinkedIn is to look to try and get a thousand likes on 10 posts, not one like, uh, not 10,000 likes on one post. So the idea is to spread um, the amount of content that you're putting out. And, and that kind of was misunderstood by certain people. They're like, well, why are you chasing metrics? It's not about the metrics and that wasn't really the messaging I was trying to get across. What I was trying to say was um, it's better to be seen 10 times by the same person than it is to be seen once by 10,000 people because it's a visibility play online and, and putting out that kind of content is useful. Now, what I'm also not suggesting is that you let the quality of your content suffer as a result of it. So Kieran Gill Murray, who I, I mentioned in the post, great at this. What he does is he creates a really great bit of content and then he chops it up. So he puts it out, you know, uh, he's done an, a really great guide on the A to Z of uh, process automation, I think it's called, but that's what it's all about and how to find good developers and the like. But he did it as an A to Z. So he had 26 bits of content from one really valuable bit. Now, the idea is that that's 26 times that, A, people have a chance to see him, B, that he has something to post and something to say, and C, this is the most important part. It's a bit like um, when you're an investor or you're a VC and you're looking for a bit of... Um, you're looking to find that next unicorn. You don't invest in one and hope that it goes great and go, well, I'm really sure that that one over there is going to provide me with you know, enough money to retire on. What you do is you invest in lots of different ones because actually you often can't predict which one is going to take off, which one is going to go viral. Um, I, I had that myself this week on Twitter where I put so much work into my social media. I put absolutely loads into it. And the one tweet that went viral um, in, in the last year was one, a flippant comment I'd put about a celebrity, flippant, I'd sent it at 11 o'clock at night um, and about cancel culture, it was it was two lines long, it got over 1100 kind of reshares and likes it was really heavily engaged with I couldn't ever have predicted that, I've said things far more thought provoking I've said things far more valuable but that was something that got picked up on, so this is my point about if you put that thing out 10 times 10 bits of content, that's 10 opportunities you have, that that thing might stick, that it might resonate with a certain market because it's very hard to predict what's going to get engaged with and what isn't. Um, and that's the point I was making. So don't aim to get like that one bit that you pour over for a month because what you'll find is you'll put a blog post out, you'll pour over it, you'll put it, and it might well be successful, but it might also flop. And if you've spent a whole month pulling together that one piece of content um, and it flops, you've lost all the other opportunities on every other day um, and then you've got to go through another whole month until the next one comes out and you get the opportunity to say something useful that someone might uh, might enjoy, might look at, might think that it's useful. So I hope that was useful. I uh, hope that explains it. hope that gives you something to think about and thank you for watching. Cheers. Bye.